bullion dealer cautions, here's the part you choose to ignore about silver. In this video, my dealer Preston will show the frightening reality of silver. Let's start. It's a critical situation when yeah. people are not interested in, in really supporting their own yeah. government. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. that's, that's when I think of treasury bonds, I think of yeah. like my parents' generation. Money goes where it's treated best, right? Mm. The nominal yield, that's mm. the nominal, like the nominal yield is 5.25%. But you think about nominal versus real. So the real yield is what I also mentioned, which is the nominal minus the rate of inflation. Mm -hmm. So the rate of inflation, if it's 3%, your real yield is just two and a quarter percent. You're not making five and a quarter. You're actually making two and a quarter if you factor in inflation. That's the real yield. And, and that's, not the, that's not discussed because that's a bad salesman. Right, <laughs> right. Investors who are savers, people who save their money, will either, if the real yield exceeds, the nominal yield exceeds the rate of inflation, if, if the real yield is a good yield, they will go into treasuries. They will go into corporate bonds. They will go into the debt market. They will buy bonds, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if it doesn't, they will go into gold. Huh. So it's all about what is what is the, the nominal yield, what is the rate of inflation, and how does that translate into real yield? Now, if the nominal yield isn't high enough, if, if the real yield is you know, let's say if it's negative two percent, why would you buy? Why would you buy yeah. bonds if you're like, let's say, let's say rate of inflation is actually nine percent, yeah, and you're only getting five and a quarter percent. Well, why would you buy bonds? You're losing money. You're still losing, you know, four, uh, three and three and three point seven five percent. That is exactly why people are turning away from treasury bonds. It's possible. It is totally possible that our parents' generation lived through a different experience regarding treasury bonds. They still had a gold-backed currency, and they did not have the option to own gold for personal wealth. That was not even an option. It should be no surprise, no surprise that people are turned off to treasury bonds. Because people aren't thinking about, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, what's, what am I paying at Safeway? What am I paying at Costco? Now, generally, prices don't go up, like, day after day after day after day. It's, you know, in the United States currently, you know, you'll notice a month goes by and you're paying a dollar extra for, you know, something that you were paying a dollar less for a month ago. You know, you know, I think it's interesting uh, what you're saying is uh, with that theory that people will not go into treasury yeah. uh, bonds, they'll go into gold. Mm -hmm. And just in general, yeah. I, I hear a statement like that, like, oh, they'll, you know, yeah. people will have this option mm -hmm. and then they typically prefer gold. But I never hear that with silver. It, like, I never hear like, uh, oh, they'll, or is it implied? Is it implied? Like, oh, they'll either, you know, they won't, they'll step out of treasury or they'll pull their money out of some yeah. stocks uh -huh. and they'll go into silver. It doesn't, that, that phrase is, <laughs> is silver the yeah. same as gold in terms of like, well, part of, uh, part of the reason is is that silver is undervalued. Silver mm -hmm. is is so undervalued that it it escapes the mentality of most people. Mm -hmm. When people think, "Oh, I'm going to put my my savings into precious metals," silver is so cheap that they don't even consider it. Yeah, you know, they look at gold, especially when it's going up and up and up. Like last year, gold went up thirteen yeah. percent. When people see gold going up like steadily. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go buy gold. Once silver starts to move incrementally up and up and up and up, is when people are gonna start thinking about it more. Yeah. Yeah. But right now, I mean, it's it's been flat. I mean, it's been in a holding pattern between 22 and $25 an ounce for 12 to 18 months. 